So this is our problem that we need to solve. We have a car whose mass is 2500 kilogram and speed is 20 meter per second. We go, we, if we want to solve this problem, what we will say that we are given some data, mass of car M is equal to 2500 kilogram and speed of car 20 meter per second. And we need to find something that is to find kinetic energy of car E k. So the solution we because this is kinetic energy, this is mass and this is speed. We, write, we use this equation E k is equal to 1 by 2 m v squared 1 by 2 mass is 2500 and speed is 20 and it's squared. So this will become equal to 1 by 2 q by v. So energy will become equal to 1 by 2 and q is equal to cv multiply by v. So we can also use another formula that is 1 by 2 cv square and q is equal to cv v is equal to q divided by c. So now replace v by q by c this is another formula energy is equal to 1 by 2 q q divided by c so energy is equal to 1 by 2 q square divided by c so that's the third formula that we can use to find the energy stored in a capacitor okay so energy stored is equal to 1 by 2 QV is equal to 1 by 2 V square C and is equal to 1 by 2 uh, Q square divided by C. So these three formulas that we can use to describe the energy stored in capacitor. A capacitor is charged to a potential difference of 12 volt using a constant current of 5 million amp over 30 second. Calculate the energy stored in it. A capacitor is charged capacitor is charged to a potential difference of 12 volt a potential difference of 12 volt using a constant current of current in what is current current is the uh, uh, current is charge per unit time okay uh, so how much charge is being provided is 5 milliamps that is 5 micro coulomb charge per second okay over uh, sorry constant current of 5 milliamp over 30 seconds so with dk we got uh, charge and uh, current and time from current and time we can we can figure out our charge calculate the energy stored in it Calculate the energy stored. So, solution since Q is equal, sorry, energy stored in capacitor is equal to 1 by 2 QV. We have V, but we don't have Q. We know current I is equal to Q divided by. T, which implies that Q is equal to current I multiply by time. So current is 5 milliamps, 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 and time is 30, which is 150 into 10 to the power minus 3 or 0 0.15 Coulomb charge. Okay. So we got Q 
and now energy is equal to 1 by 2 0 0.15 and what's the potential difference is 12 so we got 6 to 1s are 2 6 and 6 multiplied by 0 0.15 is 9.0 joule energy okay so that's the amount of energy stored by a capacitor One fifty zero point one five. Is this right? One fifty five threes are one fifty, one fifty into one fifty one five coulomb charge. Yeah. And then should be yeah, nine point nine point zero joule. Oh no, sorry. So 0 0.15 multiplied by 6 is 90 and 1, 2. So 0 0.9 joule, not uh, 9.0 joule, okay? 0 0.9 joule energy is stored by the capacitor. Sorry for multiplication. So we got two numbers there. That will be 0 0.9 joule. A 900 microfarad capacitor is charged is charged up to a potential difference of 240 volts calculate the energy stored by the capacitor So, because we got the potential and we got the capacitance, so this is the formula that we can use. Here we have potential difference and the capacitance and we can find the uh, desired result. So, solution energy stored is equal to 1 by 2 V square C. 1 by 2 voltage is 240 and squared okay and capacitance is 900 times 10 to the power minus 6 so if we solve this this will become equal to 450 and then 450 and 240 squared 24 squared is how much is it um i got um final value of 25.9 25.9 joule are almost 26 joule of energy. A 40 microfarad capacitor, uh, sorry, a 40 millifarad capacitor, milli is 10 to the power minus 3 and micro is 10 to the power minus 6. A 40, a 40 millifarad capacitor is connected. To a 230 power to a 230 volt power source when fully charged how much energy will be stored by the capacitor when fully charged how much energy will be stored by the capacitor so solution now we got capacitance and we got the voltage Again, we can use this formula to find the energy stored E is equal to 1 by 2 
v square c 1 by 2 and potential is now to 30 and is squared you can quickly find the square of 230 and then capacitance is 40 time 10 to the power minus 3 so 2 1s are 2 to 20 and we got 230 squared multiply by uh, 20 and then 10 to the power minus 3 okay so what will we get just tell me the last answer uh, 1058 joules yeah 1058 joules are approximately 1060 joule of energy Okay. So, because we got a capacitor, and it has a dielectric in in between the plates, so we are using the capacitor formula for the uh, capacitor with having a dielectric in it. So, capacitance with a medium is equal to area of the plates divided by distance between the plates, and it is multiplied by relative uh, relative permittivity and the permittivity of free space okay so this is the formula that we are going to use now do we have the area we have the length and width millimeter okay so we got the length and width of the plate so we can get the area and then we got the separation 0.5 mm apart so we got the distance and we can actually calculate the capacitance because also the relative permittivity is here and permittivity of free space is 8.85 times 10 to the power minus 12 farad per meter so area of the plates will become equal to 6.0 times 10 to the power minus 3 because this millimeter multiply by 4.55 times 10 to the power minus 3 so we will get the area from here all right and then we can use these values to find the capacitance so capacitance is equal to area which is 6.0 times 10 to the power minus 3 multiply by 4.55 times 10 to the power minus 3 let's just write 10 to the power minus 6 so we got 6.0 multiply by 4.55 times 10 to the power minus 3 plus minus 3 is 10 to the power minus 6 divided by separation between the plates which is 0.5 mm so 0.5 multiply by 10 to the power minus 3 and then we got the relative permittivity which is 86 multiply by uh, permittivity of free space which is 8.85 times 10 to the power minus 12 so the capacitance of a medium will become equal to 0.5 divided by 6 is 12 and 10 to the power minus 3 and 10 to the power 3 6 will remain 10 to the power minus 3 so we got 10 to the power minus 15 and can you multiply now 12 multiply by 4.55 multiply by 86 multiply by 8.85 so what do we get just multiply these terms Four point one zero nine times ten to the power minus eleven farad. Okay, and we can make it because if we move this this way one step, it will be ten to the power minus twelve. So c is equal to 41.09 times 10 to the power minus 12 farad and 1 to 10 to the power 12 is pico 
so this is 41.09 pico sp is a small pico farad capacitor okay is this clear yeah yeah so that's how we can calculate the capacitance of uh, a capacitor with two plates yeah uh, can you hear me yeah yeah so last time we discussed uh, uh, the capacitors right and we were going to the dielectrics was the their role and we defined the relative permittivity and capacitors when there is a dielectric relative permittivity for capacitors is also called uh, dielectric okay so we have a question that's exam related question a material has a permittivity of 1.99 times 10 to the power minus 11 femto per meter calculate its relative permittivity okay so if we need to calculate the relative permittivity <coughs> solution the formula is very simple it says that epsilon relative is equal to epsilon for medium divided by epsilon not now epsilon not epsilon for medium is given but epsilon for vacuum that's epsilon not uh, let's just write it here we know it from previous chapter is 8.85 times 10 to the power minus 12 farad per meter okay so farad per meter can also be written as a uh, new coulomb square per newton meter squared okay or farad per meter so we need to substitute these values now so relative permittivity will become equal to 1.99 times 10 to the power minus 11 divided by 8.85 times 10 to the power minus 12 so 8.85 and 1.99 this will be 0. Point something okay and when this goes up it gives us 10 to the power plus 1 so if you solve them just solve uh, just divide 1.99 divided by 8.85 yeah 2.25 because it will be 0.225 but then 10 to the power 12 though, so we we multiply it by 10 and it goes to 2.25 and what you know should i write with relative permittivity there should be no unit because it's the ratio of the same same quantities so when it's a ratio of same kind of quantities there should be no unit it's a dimensionless quantity okay 